So in this experiment, we found Ea value, right? In the first part, decomposition of N2O5 and two different temperatures at 35 degrees Celsius and 45 degrees Celsius, the rate constant, and we find activation energy, which we have 1.04 times 10 to the 5 joule per mole, okay? And we need to find out rate constant. This is part two. Part one, we worked on it. We need to find out for part two. So let's see how we can set up. Let's go to next. Now we are going to start with how to calculate K2 value. Now let's see what is given. P1 is given 308 Kelvin. P2 328 Kelvin. K1 is given 1.4 times 10 raised to minus 4 per second. K2 we need to find <coughs> activation energy Ea 1.04 times 10 raised to 5 joule per mole. And we have this equation. In this time, we need to find out K2. 1 over T1 minus 1 over T2. Okay. So, let's plug in this value. Activation energy is 1.04 times 10 raised to my 10 is to 5. Our value is 8.315. 1 over 308 minus 1 over 328. Alright. Now, when you calculate this whole amount, when you calculate this whole thing together, you get 2.476 2 and ln K2 divided by 1.4 times 10 to negative 4. Okay? Now, when you separate ln, you can take E raised to, so you get I'm going to go to next slide. Uh, K2, 1.4 times 10 raised to minus 4. And you get 11.90. And when you solve for K2, you multiply those two. You get 1.7 times 10 raised to minus 3. And unit is per second. So you can calculate K2 value. If activation energy, once you find, and 1K1 is given, you can calculate K2 value.